haven't seen each other for two years in person. So. I can't believe it's been two years. Yeah, That's insane already. to me. So this is a nice reunion. Yeah, it's been great. It's I a surprise Sunday for me. So. This is the craziest Sunday of my life. Your whole life, life. my entire life. Wow, guys, you heard it here. This is her crazy Sunday. Guys, I am two red pools deep. It is. What is it? I don't even know what time it is. We're gonna party. Test it. I. I don't know if this. There you go. Okay. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I have the little mic. Uh, no great. indication whatsoever of anything else. I had the prefrontal lobotomy before I came, so I'm feeling pretty dizzy. You still right do now. those? Yeah. Wow. I had the lobotomy and I'm feeling good. Hey guys, how you doing out there? Woo! In, in case just on the offense, nobody knows the, the voices that y'all so wonderfully uh, bring to life for us. What characters are y'all most known for? Go ahead and go down the line. Let everybody know in case somebody doesn't know. Hi, my name is Christina Valenzuela. I'm the voice of um, a cat in a whisker. Wait, I'm just kidding. I'm Ladybug and Ladybug. I am Kinua in Hunter Hunter. I'm, uh, who am I? Oh my gosh, that's not me anymore. Sailor Mars in Sailor Moon, Hawk in the Seven Deadly Sins. I am Shantae in Shantae, Velvet Crow in Tales of Berseria, and yeah, thank you. <laughs> my name is Melanie, and Lifeline from Apex Legend. Jade from Mortal Kombat. Tiki from Miraculous Ladybug with this beautiful girl. The last healer from Seven Deadly Sins, and the Kanata, the white haired guy from Demon Slayer. Um, Rain from Fate Stay Night, uh, of you guys, Vampire Night, Yugi <laughs> <Hugie> Cross. <laughs> the line is getting you know, longer and longer. But I mean, I thought that we get to do a bunch of stuff together. Yeah. yeah. We're in Pokemon together, Seven Deadly Sins, Fate Stay Night. Miraculous Fate, Blaze Blue. You're mean to me in Fate Stay Night. We're I sisters. Mean, I was trying to kill everybody. I'm on the tour. Yeah, okay. I had a the bad view. day. It had a bad day. And David? Oh, I, I'm just visiting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Lord Jiraiya, the Kirby Tuesday. Oh, yeah. And look who I'm with. I should be in the middle, don't you think? <laughs> and I'm Kid Pachi Soraki. Ichigo, I'm going to cut you up. And I'm Perfect Mon and Digimon and all kinds of General Nosgrim and Blizzard and go look me up on the internet. That's all I can say. I don't know. There's a lot on the internet. It's a lot. It's a lot on DavidLodge.com. Oh, by the way, real quick, sorry, ladies. Yes. I, I haven't done many conventions, so I did want to tell all my fans to follow me at David Lodge Vopro. And also, I launched my new website today, David Lodge Voice Actor, which has all kinds of cool stuff. So, sorry, ladies. So, I just wanted to put that out there. No, please. Love you guys being here. Give yourself a round. I feel like your voices and everything, and I'm just like, he's so... Yeah. 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 Started doing autographs and started doing conventions. Y'all have done it. I've, you know, I've interviewed you before, Christina, and yes. uh, I want to know what has been your favorite con experience, and especially for you because this is relatively new for you, sir. Right. But go down the line. Let us know what's your favorite con experience. It could be an autograph, something cool that's happened at a convention. Give us a little insight to uh, to what you enjoy about your doing favorite this. con experience. Mine was the hot tub thing that I'm running at three o'clock today with these two men. Oh yeah. Maybe no. non-factual. <laughs> I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Go ahead. Uh, wait. Um, so I grew up uh, in Norwalk. Yeah! So I'm um, getting to come out here to Long Beach, which, I mean, I went to school at uh, Cal State Long Beach. Um, yay! So it's really cool to be, like, home turf. I don't know. It's, it's pretty awesome. Thanks. So this convention, I also signed uh, with OG Collectibles a few weeks ago. They're awesome. Um, it's just really great to be like home, and I don't know. It just feels really nice. Yeah, I had a great day this weekend. I'm, I'm a surprise guest, and so I haven't seen my girl in person for two and a half years, maybe. Um, we've been recording together on Zoom, so I love actually just meeting everyone, seeing everyone. Um, but I think when I first started it with Comic Cons, 
I was just excited to do anime because they give you free food at the sessions. Right. I'd be like, are you going to take these apples or can I have them? I was super broke. I was a free lunch kid. So to come into a world where I get to have people standing in line uh, to say hello is crazy beautiful. And then I get to be friends with all these rock stars. Wow. And I don't even play an instrument. <laughs> My favorite thing is this, the vocalizer, T3000. Come on up, I'll test your vocal cords and see if you that? can be a professional voiceover artist. Are we here? Oh yeah, she's working. Hey, no, hey, no mind. This is a very silly uh, little instrument that I have for cooking hot dogs that I thought I'd bring. I was wondering what that was. I've seen one of those before. I had to do that. So you can be a voiceover artist or a hot dog vendor. Hot dog vendor. Five stars. I'm just happy to be anywhere at my age. Thank you. <laughs> so, David, yes. you've yes. Uh, you've been doing this a while, and you're somebody that a lot of people love. Respect Jariah is just a, a Thank you. character that many people love. What got you into doing voice acting? Did you expect that this is where it would go? How did how did that start for you? Well, my family was held hostage in New Jersey, and they said either you get into voiceovers or else. No, I started out uh, doing silly voices as a kid. How many people here do voices at home? Come on, in the shower, kidding around. How many people here want to be voiceover talent? I know I do. So I started out doing silly voices in grammar school. I went to Catholic school. The nuns slapped me. They said, stop that. And I continued, and the hell with them. Look where I am now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sorry. Thank you, Dr. Applesauce. So, I'll some, test you later. Uh, something is, so this is something that I've been very curious to know. So how do you find, all three of y'all, uh, have, mul have voiced multiple characters. How do you find the inspiration for the voice for a specific character? What does that process look like? For me, I'm very like visually informed. Um, so, like, if I, auditions with like character pictures are really helpful, um, and that's I think that's usually that. Or if we're doing an anime, they will have uh, the original Japanese. We get to hear when you audition. And so those two factors are how I find the voices. I'm the same way. I'm, I love getting to work, especially with animation and games. We get um, the, the illustrations, some of the, the art that you guys don't even get to see. It's the conceptual art. And this, this thing inside of you, this six and seven year old person inside of you sees it and there's a part of your brain that just lights up and you get to create with the directors and the creators. And that's the most beautiful part, I think. Um, is, is getting to live inside the colors and, 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 and the artwork. Everybody wow. inspires me, yeah. I gotta smoke some of that. Um, <laughs> right there, Cannabis. I was gonna say, we are in California, so you probably uh, The, the trick to doing this is, first of all, you gotta be an actor. A lot of people say, hey, yeah. I don't become a voiceover talent. First thing is go study acting, you know, learn how to perform in front of people, get a microphone at home, uh, one of the key things is information, like the girls were saying, you want the picture. But another key thing is to find out what they want and what they don't want. And if you do that, you hit the target right in the middle, right? So you find out what they don't want. I want to be a little kid. Not that little. How about this? A little older. Hey, man, that's cool. That's who we want. You know, so that's kind of how it works. Um, there's a lot of directors trying to get you to jump through hoops, but sometimes you've got to take over the session a little bit and say, hey, Let's narrow it down to what you're really looking for. Let me try some stuff, and they go, "Hey, that's it." It's kind of how it works. That's really smart. That's something that even I do when I, you know, when I'm taking out clients for videos. Right. It's like, "Okay, what do you don't want to see? Where what's too much? Let's find the middle ground." That makes a lot exactly. of sense. That's very, it's very, very cool. So another another thing that I'm really curious to know is not including characters that you voice. What's your favorite character in an anime that you're a part of? Or a show, or a video game. Oh. Wow, that's a tough one. But it can't be something that you voice. Favorite character that we don't voice? Well, well, well. I don't know. The first thing that came to mind, I think it's because there's just Pokemon right there, but I love Bulbasaur so much. <laughs> I have like a Bulbasaur. You should see me. Like, guys, I used to hide the fact that I was like nerdy, oh, yeah. but it's all out now. Like, I, you should see my car. I have like Kilo and, and Pikachu decals. and my Bulbasaur purse and my house is just like completely decked out with like cells and like painting so I, I love Pokemon a lot 
And, um, but there's one show that I grew up with called Revolutionary Girl Utena, and it came out uh, a little after Sailor Moon, and that was a really cool show. I love all those characters. I'm a fan of Marinette. For sure. Ah, oh, thanks, Tiki. <laughs> You're my best friend. Thanks. Um, but I would love to do more Disney animation. Singing Moana just inspired me, and I, I am so excited to be able to explore. We have a movie coming out, and there's a lot of music in it. Um, but I think Marinette, Wraith from Apex Legends, Moana, definitely. Moana, like, there's a line with the sky with the sea. Okay. Sure. Oh, we should sing. Did you guys watch, like, duets between Christina, me, and I? Yeah. yeah. Good, because here's one right now. Just kidding. <laughs> I got, I got music people. Yes? Oh, hello. Hello. Hi. Is this working? Do you want my microphone? <laughs> I, made, I got the teeny tiny one. Yeah, I don't, right, I don't like better? that one. That's better. I was thinking it'd be fun to be Lord Vader. May the force be. What? Excuse me? Strike me down, I am your father. <laughs> the Emperor has foreseen this. It is your destiny. Strike him down, Skywalker. <laughs> the Emperor hates you. All that fun Star Wars stuff, right? Who likes Star Wars? I can do R2-D2. I can do, do, I can do Lucky Michael Caine. Who likes what? Michael Caine? He's a good butler. I've seen him in Batman, right? You know Michael. We do all these crazy stuff. Morgan Freeman. Yeah, I do all that crazy nutty stuff. Oh, Ashley, hello. I'm a parrot. Come on, guys. Let's do voices. <laughs> let's do voices? Oh my gosh. I could just do... <laughs> Big Oh, that's pretty good. Thank you. It's a voice-off. Uh, I'm not doing a voice-off. <laughs> a voice-off! Christina, I think you said something really, really interesting. Yes. That you said, because I, I can I can sympathize with this, growing up in a time when it wasn't cool to like anime. Yes. To where even you know people, including myself, got bullied for liking anime. And now oh, it's... Yeah. Cool. We're all here because anime is cool. People love, and I, I love that. I love that it's okay to love anime, and it's it's really cool. Now. Everywhere it's I go, cool. I yeah. see like people with like Demon Slayer shirts, Hunter Hunter shirts, and it's like yeah. this is amazing. Yeah, and it's something that's happened within the past few years. It's, yeah. it's very very cool. So everybody, thank you for coming. I apologize, we have to keep this it. It. But you. if you want to meet There's them, they're all along the back line back yeah, there. Christine and I are I just want to give a shout out to the promoters of this event. Collecticon. Matt, Jeff, Cody, Collecticon Long Beach. We'll be in Kansas City, Denver, Miami, all different places. And I want to just say, hey look guys, we're not Ukraine. We got through COVID. It's time to party. I don't care about inflation. I'm having fun. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Applesauce!